Hey guys, so I have some empties here and these empties I've had forever, like, yeah. But anyways, figured I'd share it with you guys. First thing that I have here is this uh, Clairol and it's um, Color Me Vibrant. It says it's ammonia free, but it's in the color um, Light Blonde, Knockout Blonde. But I really didn't in particular like this color because when I put it on, it wasn't the color that I was thinking that it would be. But it was like, you know, $5 or $6 at the dollar store. I got this um, Herbal Essence Body Wash, and this stuff's always great. I used this earlier a while ago. Then I have this, the it's called the Voom Styling Shaping Spray. I got this stuff from Myra's, and... Like, the month that I was staying with her, she's like, here, try some of this, because I was needing some hairspray. This stuff will do your hair up, just saying. And it really makes your hair, like, real poofy and stuff. I don't even know where she got this. Probably some hair salon place. But it's by Matrix Essentials. Looks like that. I don't even know where you can get that stuff at. Um... Let's see here. I've got some of this cocktail dress uh, perfume. This stuff's the bomb. It's wonderful. And then I have a Treat Me Bath Burst. I tried one of these bath bombs from Dollar Tree. They're actually pretty good, but you know, if you're older, like us, I wouldn't recommend them, but for kids, they're great. So I got those for the girls, they love them. Um, but I wanted to try one too, so. And then I have this Dark Kiss. This stuff is absolutely awesome. I've had this stuff for a while. This is like my third bottle, like throughout the years, and it's just fantastic. It smells so good. It's just got a very beautiful smell to it. And this is old packaging. I've had it forever, so. I've got some of these facial wipes. And this one's in honeysuckle and green tea. These things work really good. From the Dollar Tree, four dollar. Got this birthday cake scented face mask from Big Lots. These are really good. Those were a dollar as well. I ran out of bottled water, so I had bought this big old jug of water. So I was going to get a beta fish. Hadn't done it yet. So, you know, I'm drinking that water. I don't drink my tap water because it's freaking nasty. And Gracie's up. Um, let's see. I have a one of these sense, sensitive scents in pear. I had that in the bathroom. I got some of this Dove deodorant. This stuff's the bomb. It's the powder fresh. Um, I got this Guess Seductive, um, it's the designer and posters. This stuff's really good, like, it's awesome. And I paired it up with the Paris Bath and Body Works spray, and it, like, everybody that passed me, they was like, what is that smell? I said, oh, it's just something that I paired up with my perfumes. They're like, well, they love it. It smells really good. And then I have this pink cashmere that stuff's the bomb too. Um, I finally got rid of this curve. This stuff's great. And I didn't wear it for the longest. And then like this past year, I finally pulled it back out. Well, a year and a half, I would pull it out. And um, <clears throat> because my mom would use this a lot and it's one of the older curves, but it was fantastic. And I used it like throughout last month and several months before and then now, so. It is gone. What are you doing, Tootsie? She's like, good morning, people. She's a mama's girl. Um, I used up this Italian ice. This stuff smells really good. These are from Dollar Tree as well. And it looks like that. I've got this Tiki Colada. This is from um, 719 Walnut Avenue. These candles are really good. They're like four or five dollars. Um, if y'all want a good scent for your car that lingers and lasts forever, get this Cool Scents Cherry. These things are awesome. Like, they're totally great. 
Um, this Molten Orange by Scent Sensationals. This was really good. It's a very different smell though. So if you don't really like oranges, I don't recommend that. It's got a very strong orange smell. And then my all-time favorite cinnamon spice, which is Fantab. And then this Papaya Passion. These are mainstays. These are like 93 cents. And these ones are $2 at Walmart. And then I have some random... Um, this is the Honeysuckle and something another from Glade. Got some toothpaste here. And then I've got, let's go ahead and go through this one. This one's the uh, Creamy Coconut Mango Candle from Dollar Tree. Um, I've got tons of hand sanitizers because y'all know that I work in the medical field and you can never have enough of these. So, my shirt's all crooked and wacky. Um, I go through these things like crazy and I have them on my hands at all times, in my pockets, in my purse, in my car, just everywhere. Okay, um, so anyways, I have, the first one that I have is this Sparkling Mint um, Blossom. And I can't remember what this one smelled like. Oh, it smelled real like piney, like summery and, or not summery, but like wintery and like, you know, piney smelling. And then this um, orange, orangey sweet. This was a really good one. It smelled like fresh oranges. This is like, I think this one's old packaging. Um, and then this um, watermelon lemonade. This one was the bomb. I loved it. And then this one was a essential oils. Um, it was some tea one, but this one was really good. I kind of wore the side of that off. And then melon forever and purple rain. Every time I would open this up, that song would come in my mind. Purple rain. You know. And then forever pink. This one. Is my all-time favorite and it's sugar kiss forever pink it's freaking bomb and then this one was another one of my favorites is um i'm i'm a unicorn so very sweet i need to go to bath and body works now i want some more hand sanitizers which i have like eight or nine left but still that's not enough for my stash because i use these all the time um so there's those and then gross i have some this crap here i got from ipsy and i don't even know who this is by i don't like this i mean it's it's a pretty color but it's the formula sucks and it's just um it's it's an awful god awful mess like honestly it's a freaking god awful mess but it's like that color and it goes on wet and it's just you know and then what I hate about it, because I had this in my car sitting, because I always have lip gloss everywhere. Because, you know, if you don't bring one with you, you have it there. But whenever you close this mess, Madness, it ain't doing it now, but it gets off on the sides. And it ends up in your freaking car, in your purse, in your pocketbook, in your freaking uh, pockets. No. That crap's going. Can't have that mess. Can't have it. Um, some of my other favorites, these were from Ultra, or not Ultra, but Ulta when I got a while back, and these were just gorgeous colors. I took these to work, because I'm always, you know, like, having lip gloss on my lips, but this was just a pink color, real pretty sheer pinkish color, and this still has product left in it, but I, I had left it in my lunchbox, totally forgot about it, and the smell... It's just got a bad smell to it, so it's going. But I love this color. It was like a brown neutral color. Um, some mascara. This is the Falsies Push Up Drama um, by Maybelline. At first, I didn't like this, and then I fell in love with it. It makes your lashes super long and thick. Um, I'll probably get some more of that sometime or another. Then I used up some of this hand sanitizer, um, Scary Berry from Bath & Body Works, which is the Bime. 
another one of my favorites is this um, by Miss Manga. And people had hauled this like multiple times. I never did try it. And then when I finally did, I'm like, a yes. I love this stuff. It's fantastic. Um, this is Pixie by Petra. Pixie Pretty or whatever the crap. And it's in Peach Honey. I love this stuff. And it freaking, there was, I used half of it. And then it just crumbled to pieces. And I was pissed off when that happened. Because, you know, you don't want your makeup to break. And then um, CoverGirl Clean. This is like my all-time favorite stuff. I've actually went through another one. It's um, by Rimmel. Get out of that Tootsie. She's wanting my water. Um, it's in there. And then I bought another one of these. However, since I've been tanning outside and stuff, I'm needing to get a darker color because my skin complexion's not going good with that. And then the last thing that I got here I went through, no joke, three or four tubes of this. This is like my freaking holy grail. Like, it's beautiful. And it's the CoverGirl Lip Lava. And it looks like this. I've shared, I've shared it multiple times with you all. But it's just beautiful. And it's um, colorlicious in lava luster. And it's just a very beautiful um, neutral sheer color that makes your lips beautiful. I've got a um, LA Colors. It's like one of those glittery color stuff. It's full of glitter, but I like it. Um, I got this at Big Lots for like $2 or $3, but at like Walmart, they're like 6 or $7. So when I see some more of these, I'm going to be stocking up because I love this stuff. And um, as you can see, it, like, it uses up really good. In these types of tubes, whenever you're using it, it's got like a suction. It's weird. Like when you pull it out, it all will go down to the bottom and you can use it all. Which is weird. You can see it's like completely, there's a bit right in here. But I hate when you pull this out to use it, it gets all thick and it's just too much and then it don't look right. So it's going in the trash. But anyways, if y'all see those, get you some. They're great. Um... And that's my empties. I hope y'all are having a good day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.